Hi everyone, as you may or may not have heard, Philips recently launched the Philips Hue Signy, which is this beautiful excuse for a light. I mean, look at it, that living room is on fire. Sadly, at that price point, you might as well set your wallet on fire, it's not going to matter much. So I did some research online, and I found a lot of parts to make something very very similar to this for a lot less money. Here's what I ended up with. As you can tell, I haven't been very original in my design. Yes, I'm very well aware I might get sued by Philips over this. But at a little over 40 euros in parts, it's a lot cheaper than the 270 euros Philips is asking for this. It's fully U compatible, which means it can be controlled by smartphone or other smart devices. And it can be used with U-Sync to turn it into an alternative for an Ambilight TV. If you're curious how I made this, here's the full rundown. Step 1 was gathering parts. I went to AliExpress for an LED strip at under 10 euros, a Gladopter controller at 21 euros and a power plug at 3 euros. When looking for these parts, keep in mind that you have different types of LED strips and different corresponding types of controllers, depending on the colors you want to achieve. I also went to the local hardware store and got an aluminum U profile at about 7 euros. And at the paper and craft store, I got some matte plastic to softbox the light a bit, also for a few euros. Next up was designing a pretty base to house all the electronics and keep the thing upright. I 3D printed these parts, but I'm confident any box that can hold the Gladopter controller will suffice. With all the parts finished, I drilled a hole in the profile for the cables. Then I used the adhesives on the LED strip to stick it in the aluminum profile, folded it back in the end and placed another row down again, making sure the LEDs are in a zigzag pattern. I inserted the cables into the Gladopter controller, which will connect it to my U-bridge. Then I placed the controller in the base and glued the profile to it. The LED strips can give pretty harsh light when used directly, as you can see in this comparison where the right one is softboxed a bit. To do this, I got this plastic sheet and cut it to size. To fold it, I made a small cut so it could fit inside the profile. And that's pretty much it. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope this video can help someone out to do the same. Bye guys!